I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the strategy to solve linear equations with one variable. Now here we have fractions involved. So the equation is 4 plus x divided by 3 minus x minus 5 divided by 6 equals to 4. First step is get rid of fractions, right? So that is the first step. How do we do that? Now the common denominator is 6 so we can times 6 each term. That helps to get rid of fractions. That is what we are going to do now, right? So we have the equation which is 4 plus x over 3 minus x minus 5 over 6 equals to 4. So in the very first step we are going to multiply each term by 6. So that ensures that there won't be any other fraction involved in solving the question. So when we do that, we can simplify first, right? So that goes one time and this is 24. And then we can expand. So when you have 2 times 4 plus x, remember to multiply both by 2. So in fact, it should be 2 times 4 plus x. Both should be multiplied by 2 minus x minus 5 equals to 24 right now open the bracket so you get 2 times 4 as 8 2 times x is 2x minus x plus 5 don't forget to change the sign because when minus gets multiplied with minus you get positive 5 in this case right now you can combine the like terms 2x minus x is x and 8 plus 5 is 13 which is 24 so now you can take away 13 from both the sides. So you'll get x equals to 24 minus 13. And 24 minus 13 is 11. So x is 11 is the solution. So you can write your answer as x equals to 11. Now, as a part of ensuring that you have the right answer or not, you can check sometimes, okay? Sometimes good to check. Let us check for this particular example. When we say x equals to 11 is a solution, then if I substitute x as 11, that means 4 plus 11, instead of x I am writing 11. So we are checking with the left side. So we'll begin with the left side and see whether you get the left side gets equal to right side, which is 4 in this case. So we have 4 plus 11 as 15, 15 over 3 minus 11 minus 5 is 6, 6 over 6, 15 over 3 is 5, 6 minus 6 is 1, and that is indeed equal to 4, which is the same as the right side. So the solution x equals to 11 works, right? So at times you may have to check, right? So it may be specified in the question. I hope this kind of solution helps you to solve linear equations in one variable with fractions. Thank you.